actually have a contact lens stuck underneath my eyelid right now. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it out with some tips. Let's focus in. Now there's actually a few ways you can get a contact lens stuck in your eye. The most common and most difficult to get out is where it's stuck underneath your top eyelid, like the one that I have right now. Now before we get started, wash your hands, take a deep breath. I know this can be very frustrating and nerve wracking, but don't worry, we're gonna get this. And then also if you have any artificial tears, put one or two drops in there. When the contacts dry, it's really tricky to get out and that will help glide the contact or help it move a little bit better. The biggest tip here is you're gonna look down and you're gonna use the eyelid to our advantage here. It might be tempting to look up or look straight ahead, but when you look down, you bring the contact lens down a little bit so it's more accessible. If you're looking straight ahead or looking up, the contact will also be up and it's hard to kind of massage it a little bit. The first thing you wanna try when you're looking down is you're gonna try blinking forcefully. I'm gonna try this. I tried this a second ago. The contact's still up there, but we'll see if we can get lucky. We kind of blink, blink forcefully. This will also help you know exactly where the contact is. Mine's right up here. <clears throat> but if you try and blink, sometimes that can create a little bit extra tension on the contact and move it down a little bit. If that doesn't work, you can try pulling on the eyelid and blinking. So we'll try this. You can create a little bit extra tension and see if that will bring it down. Ooh, I felt it move a little. No, it's up there. You might get lucky, but definitely try it. You can at least feel it moving and that might help you know where you're gonna be massaging. And that's the next step. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna get kind of close up on this one. Like I said, we're doing this live. I'm gonna kind of use the camera as my mirror here. But like I said, we're gonna look down and you're gonna use your own eyelid to massage the area. You're gonna kind of pull the eyelid up and then try and gentle pressure and push it down. And if you're lucky, you can start to feel the contact moving. I can already feel it. I looked in the opposite direction where the contact is at and I can start to feel it all of a sudden moving it down. Let's see if I can see it here. There we go, got it, got it out. And so that feels much better so we can continue on with the rest of the video. But yeah, let me keep going on with the tips. I'll show you some, some other ones here. Now let me recap because that went faster than I thought. And so I just wanna make sure that you got the tips down on this one. So you're gonna look down and Usually what works best for me is if you look in the opposite direction of where the contact is at. Like in my case, mine was in the top corner up here by my ear, towards my ear. And so when I look down, you can massage, but what really worked is I looked in the opposite direction towards my nose and I was able to kind of feel that contact and use my eyelid to massage it down. So I'd kind of lift my eyelid up, kind of apply gentle pressure and then push down. And that moved it into the area where I could use my fingers to get them out. You can also eventually move it down and then end up blinking it out. That's pretty common as well. Now you'll have to let me know if this video helped you get a stuck contact lens out or if you have any additional tips, what helped you leave them down there to help everybody else out. Another common way the contact might go up underneath the eyelid is that it won't be folded or rolled up. It'll be in its perfect shape. It's just up suctioned on the top part of your eye. So I actually put a contact up there, a transition, AccuView transition contact up there so I can kind of demonstrate so you can actually see the contact. So I can demonstrate how you can get this one recentered or take it off. And a lot of it are the same tips. Now, if you're worried that the contact lens will actually get behind your eyeball and get lost back there, don't worry, it can't do that. The eye's actually sealed off. There's something called the superior fornix where the clear layer of the conjunctiva on the eyeball goes up and then turns into the inner layer of the eyelid. And so it kind of seals off the eye so the contact can't go behind the eyeball. So hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better. You're gonna look all the way down with this one as well, and you're still gonna use your finger to kind of pin the contact with your eyelid. But with this one, as you massage down, at the same time, you're going to look up with your eye. The contact lens is made to sit over the cornea, the front of the eye. And so if you can move the contact back down, sometimes the contact will grab the cornea and it'll recenter it, and then you can either leave it on there or take it out like you usually do. So I'm gonna see if I can do this one live as well. We're gonna look down, we're gonna pin the contact with the eyelid and slowly start massaging down, but at the same time, kind of look up at the same time. Might take a few tries. There we go. Slowly, I can feel it slowly moving. 
getting there. There we go. We got it. Now, a common thing that we see in the clinic is a patient will come in, they've spent a lot of time picking at their eye, and they still feel like the contact is in there, they can't get it out, and we'll look at their eye and, hey, there's not a contact in there, it's lost somewhere else. And what they're feeling might be from the irritation and small abrasions that they've done to their eye, and it's still irritated, it almost feels like a contact lens. And that's actually pretty common for that to happen. But don't let that keep you from going into the eye doctor. If you can't get a contact lens out, you still feel like it's in there, go into the eye doctor. We can actually use something called sodium fluorescein dye. We can put it in your eye and it'll make the contact glow like a Christmas light so we can actually see if it's in there and get it out. Another common way a contact might be stuck on the eye is right on the normal position of the eye, right on the cornea, the center of the eye, and no matter what you do, you can't get it off. If this is the case for you, I recommend watching this video. It's a video I did with a bunch of tips and tricks to get that contact out the best way possible. I hope this helps. Stay focused.